Good morning, preschool, and happy Thursday. It is March 27th. I have a friend with me today. Her name is Katie. This is my daughter's American Girl doll. Her name is Katie. And Katie helped me take my dog outside today. We were checking on the weather. We both said it's cold outside this morning, boys and girls. So Katie and I decided to come inside and read a story about the weather. Before we read the story though, Katie and I would like to sing the weather song with you. Katie thinks it's going to be cold and she thinks it will warm up later today and maybe it will be hot out. So maybe we can sing, Katie said it's cold and hot in the song. Do you think we can try that? Let's give it a try. Are you ready to sing, what is the weather? Here we go, boys and girls. What is the weather, the weather, the weather? What is the weather out today? Katie thinks it's cold and hot out, cold and hot out, cold and hot out. Katie thinks it's cold and hot outside today. Boys and girls, let's read our story about the weather. Katie is going to listen while we read the story. Maybe I can bring it closer. My wild weather day. I had a big soccer game today with some very wild weather. So in the pictures, boys and girls, we have a little girl and she is playing soccer. It looks like it's raining in the picture. Let's find out what type of weather she played in. The day the weather went wild Let's look in the first picture. It started out chilly. I put on a long sleeve shirt. I could see my breath in the air. Then it got hot. The sun came out. It was 75 degrees. I got sweaty. Then it got windy. The sky turned gray. The wind made it harder to kick the ball. It rained. We played in the rain. It was so much fun. I got muddy. There was lightning. We had to stop playing. We went inside to stay safe. Look, there's a rainbow. The storm ended, the sun came out. We finished the game. Looks like she kicked a goal too. She's excited. Boys and girls, the weather changed six times. How did it affect her soccer game? Six different times the weather changed. It was cold here, she could see her breath, and then it got hot. And then what happened? It was windy. It was hard for her to kick the ball. You can see her hair blowing in the wind. And then it started to rain, and she got muddy. It made it hard to run in the mud. And then there was lightning and they had to stop and they had to go inside to be safe. And then the lightning stopped and a rainbow came out and they got to play again. And she kicked a goal, that's exciting. So boys and girls on the back of this paper, if you wanna get out a piece of paper at this time, you can and a marker. 
But before we do that, Mrs. Renner has to get her marker. So while you're getting your paper and marker, I need a piece of tape to tape my paper up here so it doesn't fall. So I'm hoping that you're getting your paper and your marker. So on the back of our paper, Katie's taking a look at all the different clothes. Katie is dressed in different layers today. She has different layers on underneath her jacket and she has boots on. So we're going to see in a little bit how Katie is dressed today and what her favorite weather is. But before we do that, we have to learn about the different type of weather and how to get dressed for the weather. So Katie's going to sit and listen while we read and look at the different types of weather and how to get dressed. So I have my marker, I have some paper. You're going to need some paper since you don't have this paper at home. If you don't want to write the words, you do not have to. You can just listen to the different types of weather and how to dress. And after we're all finished writing the words, you're going to use your piece of paper you can draw a picture of yourself and your favorite type of weather. You can pick cold weather and how you would dress or hot weather or rainy weather or snowy weather. So let's first start with how to dress for the weather. You want to try to write the words on a piece of paper you can and then when we're all finished we're going to draw a picture of ourselves, and we're going to maybe even try to write the word of our favorite weather and how we like to dress. So let's get started. Dress for the weather. Katie's doing a good job listening. All right, Katie, let's see. Choose a weather word, write it under the correct outfit. So there's different outfits here. Now in this picture, we have flip flops and a t-shirt and shorts. Boys and girls, do you think if it's cold outside that you would wear flip flops? No. If it's hot outside, do you think you would wear flip-flops and shorts and a t-shirt? Yes. Boys and girls, let's write the word hot. I'm going to circle the word so we can look at each letter. It's an H-O-T. So I have to write the first letter of the word hot. You can hear the H. H. Ah, uh, for O, and then T. Boys and girls, I hope you know that sound T. That's a T. So boys and girls, I wrote the word hot. Now I'm going to come back up here and I'm going to put an X on the word hot because we already used that word. Now the next picture is a winter coat. It looks like Katie's coat, her jacket, her winter jacket. And there's some boots and gloves, and a scarf, and a sweater, and a snowsuit. Boys and girls, do you think in this picture, what word would go underneath in this green box here? What word? Cool. Well, I guess if you're cold, you probably would wear a jacket. So let's think about cool. How about rainy? Do you think you would wear this in the rain? Snow boots? and a snowsuit? Or do you think the word snowy? Out of those three words, cool, rainy, and snowy, which word do you think would go underneath this picture? Boys and girls, I hope you're saying snowy. If you're going to wear snow boots and a snow outfit, you probably want to write the word snowy. So we're going to write snowy. Are we ready to write it? I'll get closer. So we have to look at the first letter, boys and girls. That's an S. Can we make the sound of S? S Here we go. Let's write it now underneath this picture. S N N. The next letter sound and letter is N. I hope you're saying N. Snow. O. W. W W. Snowy, yeah, and a Y, snowy. 
So we have to make sure we go back up and cross out the word snowy because we use that word. So we got rid of two words, hot and snowy. So now we have cool and rainy left. Let's look at this picture right here, boys and girls. We have, it looks to be a light jacket, some sneakers, pants, and a long sleeve shirt. Now, do you think you would uh, write the word cool or rainy under this picture? Do you see rain boots in this picture? Do you see a rain jacket? No. I do see a rain jacket over here and an umbrella and rain boots. So I think rainy would go here and cool would go here. So if, you, if it's a little chilly outside, you probably would just wear a long sleeve shirt and a light jacket. So we're gonna write cool here. Boys and girls, are you ready to write it? So we're gonna look at the word cool. K, k. Yes, that's a C sound. K. See the C? We're gonna write the C here. And then O, two O's in a row. And then O, O. Do you see the L? Cool. Good job. Don't forget, you have to cross it out. And we have one word left. Rainy, rainy. So we have to take this word and write it down here. Are we ready to write it? R, r. That's an R sound. A, A, I, N, 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 Y, rainy. Boys and girls, thank you for trying to write those words. And if you didn't write those words, it's okay, no worries. We do have a question at the bottom here. It says, in which kind of weather should you go inside to stay safe? Cloudy or stormy? If you need to stay safe from the weather and you need to go inside, when should you go inside? When it's stormy or cloudy? I think it's stormy, boys and girls. If, the, if it's storming outside, you want to go inside and be safe, boys and girls. So now we are going to draw a picture of ourself and how we would want to dress for the weather. So you want to draw a picture of yourself and your favorite weather. Good job, Katie. I know this takes time. So you wanna get a crayon or a marker and you are going to draw yourself. So before we do that though, what's the first thing we should put on our paper? Our name. So I'm going to put Mrs. Renner. All of you should be practicing your name. And then we're going to draw a picture of ourselves with our favorite weather. Mrs. Renner's favorite weather is when it's hot outside. So I'm going to draw a picture of when it's hot and sunny so I'm going to draw myself first. So here I am. This is my head, which is a circle. I'm going to give myself some eyes. I have brown eyes and a nose. And I'm going to be smiling because it's warm outside and I love, I love the sun. I love when it's warm. And I'm gonna give myself some hair, okay? There I am, and I need a body. So I have my head, which is the top. Now I need a body. So I'm going to do a stick figure. Just They're just lines, boys and girls. You can draw different shapes for your body if you want, but to keep this simple, we're going to draw a stick figure. So you're gonna draw a line down. Now I have two arms. So I'm going to draw one arm over here and one arm over here. Remember to keep your arms on the side of your body. Your arms are not up here on your head. Our arms are on the side of our body. And then we're gonna draw our two legs. One, two. Now, I am going to, let's see. I should give myself a couple fingers here. Let's see if I can give myself some fingers. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I wanna give myself some little shoes 
and if you want you can draw an outfit on yourself I just want to have a t-shirt on because remember I said I like summer so I'm gonna have a t-shirt on I'm gonna try to draw a t-shirt here and maybe some shorts we're going to try to draw some shorts here okay those are my shorts they're just shapes I'm drawing just shapes I'm happy it's summertime and I want to make a sun so you can draw a sun in your picture and the last thing that I want to do is I want to write the word hot now I can go back over here and look and find my word hot H O T so I'm going to write the word hot next to the sun H O T for hot that's my favorite weather maybe you can draw a picture of yourself and your favorite weather boys and girls the month of March does come in roaring like a lion it rains and there could be snow and it's windy and there's lightning and then all of a sudden the month of April comes and it's calm like a lamb and there are more sunny days and the weather continues to get warm out so boys and girls we are almost through the month of March like I said today is March 27th and then soon it will be April so I just want to leave on showing you Katie and her outfit because I promised I would show you what Katie's wearing today. Now Katie dressed in four layers. She dressed for, for when it's snowing. And this is her snow jacket and her pants and her boots. But guess what? Katie thinks it's going to get warm today. So she dressed in layers today. So right now she's getting a little warm. So she is going to take off her jacket because she's getting warm because she thinks that the temperature is going to get warmer outside today it was cold this morning but Katie thinks that it's going to heat up outside might be partly cloudy the Sun might peak out a little bit but I have to tell you Katie loves hot weather just like mrs. Renner so this outfit she's wearing is her fall clothing that she would wear if it's cool outside which would be this picture here so she has her fall outfit on she told me she loves summer and she loves hot weather so she decided that it's going to get hot today so she needs to take off her fall clothes because she doesn't feel cool anymore she dressed in layers today boys and girls so she has on her, she's taking off her fall jacket and she is getting hot. Her feet are getting warm in her boots. She's gonna take her boots off and she's going to get ready to dress for when it's probably raining out. We just took her rain jacket off because it was raining a little bit so this would be like if it was springtime out and it's raining she has capris on they're not shorts they're in between pants and shorts so this would be her outfit for uh, spring but she said she feels a little hot in this long sleeve shirt for spring so she decided to put a t-shirt on underneath that shirt that long sleeve shirt and now she is dressed for spring now the rain stopped and it is getting hot out and she's so excited for hot weather she is so excited she's ready to go swimming so she decided to put on her bathing suit today so she is wearing her bathing suit because it is so hot outside today boys and girls she is in her bathing suit so she's ready to go swimming now when she goes swimming she puts on her her sandals she has on her little crocs and when you go swimming you need she needs to have her life vest on so she's gonna wear her life vest I have one right here thank you to miss Chloe who has all these toys so this is her life vest boys and girls because 
she wants it to be hot out that's her favorite weather each of you can pick your favorite weather katie's favorite weather is hot she likes to go swimming and she has her crocs on she's going to get her goggles on boys and girls and she is ready to go swimming boys and girls so we hope you enjoyed our weather video today and like i said please pick your favorite weather draw a picture of yourself and your favorite weather boys and girls we hope you have a great afternoon happy learning bye bye